It's an old gas station, maybe a thousand square feet, filled with some turf, some mats, and a bunch of weights. This is the last place that you would expect to be where NHL guys are training. And go. One, stretch, speed, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, eight, come on, nine, two more, 11, good. All right, 552. You see these big places in Toronto, you know, Minnesota. There's no doubt in my mind those guys are working hard, but I think people don't realize what's going on here. 82 game schedule, and if they play in the playoffs and go to the Stanley Cup, I think it's like 100 games that they've played. These guys are all hurt in some way. Our job is to get them, you know, all of the cliche, stronger, faster, all those things, but also to get them healthy. Quick, two, quick, three, up, four, up. As soon as May starts, I'm in. Seven days a week, May, June, July, and August. It's about getting them better every hour. In the beginning of the summer, zero skating. Typically, they lack ankle mobility, hip mobility, all of these things that are affected during skating. The priority is to heal them structurally, make them balanced, get them stronger, get them bigger, get them healthier. Then we'll put them through a general preparation phase. We're doing a grip test, a vertical jump test, every phase to see how their power output is, how their uh, CNS is, which is central nervous system is. We gauge all of these things every phase. And we're able to build on it. 9.47. What am I trying to beat? 8.77. Every person's on a specific workout. You know, you see guys doing pull-ups, you see them doing squats grunting and screaming their way through exercises. But, you know, surviving at the end of the workout. We kind of all feel like we're part of, you know, a group here. Like, we're, we're very confident in what we do here, and I think we're very proud of it. Ben has kind of bred that in his gym. All right, here we go, last set. It's kind of like uh, controlled chaos. <laughs> These are some of the best hockey players, the best athletes that are in the world. They're putting their livelihood in my hands. The pressure, it affects me nightly. When I'm talking to Quick before game six of the Stanley Cup, and then he wants me to give him something to do to get pumped, yeah, I mean, I'll think, is this the right thing, or should I give him something else? I take it very serious, and, and there's pressure, for sure. Yeah, two, three, yeah, yeah. Eight, nine, seven. Ah. boy. All right, outside we go. You know, Ben be able to give you a good workout on the back of a truck. Like, he knows how to use whatever's around him and he knows how to get results. He's very smart, he's very creative as far as coming up with workouts. Good. Brass, right. just move that back one out a little. Square, square your hips, square your hips. Uh, this is actually our last week of phase three. We're just trying to build power. We're just trying to build some mandrakes in our legs and our, in our body. It's all sled pulling, uh, reverse backwards, and it's like pretty much trying to drag a sled through mud. In the third phase, at that point of the summer, what we do is lower the force and increase the velocity. They've already gotten their strength, so now what we want to do is lower the bar weight and increase bar speed. They'll be able to neurologically be more efficient in showing up for camp at the highest power output available. I've been working out here for about five years now. This is my second summer here. Yeah, this is my fourth year at body tuning, and uh, it's Derek's first year. Marty St. Louis was basically my first big time guy. He became famous for the kind of how hard he trained in the summer. I don't advertise, I don't do Instagram or Facebook or anything like that, so it just became word of mouth. You're starting to see more guys come from out of town and, and you know, spend their summers here just to work out with Ben. As professional athletes, they love to play hockey. They're here to get better for that. They're ready to get on the ice and get going. You know, the transition on the ice, when they're working on their grip, they're going to work on being able to handle the stick better, shoot the puck harder. The Olympic weightlifting is going to help with power. Core exercises translate to rotational movement. The plyometrics that they do is going to help them. Changing of direction, being more explosive, 
shift to shift, being able to recuperate better. Those type of things all are physical qualities of hockey. Two on one, it's continuous. Okay, so one regroup, two v one. Here we go. Last year, going into camp and skating with my teammates for the first time in a long time, the one thing everyone was saying to me was, wow, you just look so much quicker coming out of the corners, escaping forwards who were forechecking you. And I felt it. A lot of the stuff we do here is explosiveness and power. The thing that that gave me the most of was confidence. All these little things that led to me having my most successful season last year. I have the NHL package. I'm watching all of the games every night. You're nervous that everything's going to go right. Making the All-Star team, winning the Stanley Cup, winning the Masterton Trophy. Somebody's counted out, or they had a bad year, or they've hurt to come back when people are doubting them. That's even that's the best. I'm a small, small part of that. But to know that you helped out a little bit, yeah, I take pride in that for sure.